Yes, the title is real, I'm going to make a trillion games in one week. But before that, you need to understand how big is a trillion. If I was magically able to make a game in one second, it would take me 30,000 years to complete one trillion games. And because I'm not immortal and I wanna finish this in one week, I need to think of something different. So I first thought of maybe making games with AI, but AI isn't that quick and it definitely can't make a game faster than one second. But you know what is quick enough? Randomly generated games. And I saw this video idea by Jonas where he made 10 billion games, but I felt like what he did isn't quite a game and I felt like I could do something better. So the rules for every game I make in this 1 trillion games challenge is it has to have a player, enemies, a way to kill those enemies and an environment. But just generating the same game and just changing the colors would technically be a trillion games, but it didn't feel right. So I wanted to add something different. I wanted to generate a few type of games. So for example, a top-down game and a platformer. And these types will also have sub -genres. So a platformer could have like actual platforms where you need to go up and do some parkour. But it could also have a kind of a Terraria look where you go through a cave and kill enemies. But to not waste any more time, I'll start making the project. So to start off, I had to make the player movement. And it was kind of hard because I had to make sure that everything I make is later changeable so I could randomly change it. And it was a little hard because I had to also make a platformer player movement and a top-down player movement. And after I made that, I wanted to start working on the enemy. And again, I had the same issues with the enemies too. I had to make a version for a top-down and a platformer. And I had to check for edge detections and wall detections and all of that, which took some time. but. After after I did that, it worked out nicely. And it was getting weird seeing all these placeholder textures, so I had to change it. The final goal is to make a bunch of textures for the wall, the player, the enemies and the bullets. And then I could change from the list of textures and it would add some difference between the games. Also, most of the texture is white because it would make it way easier to change the color later in the game editor. I'll later also make it so it would randomly generate a nice looking color palette and that would make the game look so much better. But before I start making most of the textures, I needed to tackle the biggest problem in this project and that's the level generation. The reason it's so hard to do is because I need to do it for so many level types, for example a top-down level or a platformer level, and this makes it so much harder than an average level generation script and it took me so much time and so many hours and even days to make but after all that time, I actually managed to do it and you can see on the screen right now and it actually works with the color palette and it just looks so good. And then I created some player sprites and the enemy sprites to make it look a little better. And now the next problem is adding enemy attacks and player attacks. So the player could actually kill the enemies. The level generation and the color palette generation took me a lot of time. So I had to make the player attacks and the enemy attacks very quickly. And now I've finished making all of my trillion games. And I'll show you the game montage in 3, 2, one, go.
So yeah, this is the end of the video and if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe, that always helps and you can watch these two videos right here if you want to see more. And I think it ended up pretty nicely, but I think I could do better, especially because most of my week I spent on the level generation, which in the end I think looks good, but could be way better. But yeah, anyways, bye bye.